Hello friends and welcome to Canon in D for Beginners. I'm so excited for you to meet my friend Summer Sui Sing who's going to be teaching you how to play this iconic song. So if you enjoy this tutorial, be sure to check her out in the piano members area where she teaches piano arrangement. You'll learn how to take Canon in D and transform it into your own unique piece of music. All right, happy practicing! Hi, I'm Summer Sweesing, and I'm going to teach you how to play a beginner's version of Canon in D by Pachelbel. So Canon is a very iconic song. You're going to hear it at tons of weddings. So if you're a pianist and you want to make that bread, definitely learn the song if you haven't already, because you can definitely play a lot of weddings with this, because it's so highly requested. Um, a lot of cellists don't really enjoy playing this piece because they essentially have eight notes the entire song that just repeat over and over. But the fun thing about the fact that Canon was originally arranged for strings and we're actually going to be playing it on piano is that you could combine all four different string parts into just your two hands and it makes for a very full sounding piece on the piano. So let's dive into it. All right, so first let's learn that left hand part that doesn't ever change. So the left hand is playing the cello portion and these are the eight notes. D, A, B, F sharp, G, D, G, and A. And that just stays the same throughout the entire piece. So next we're going to add in the right hand. So here's what that sounds like on its own. I'm going to add my left hand now. For this next section, I'm going to be first playing it, telling you what the note names are in the right hand, and then I'm going to go back through again and I'm going to tell you what fingering numbers I'm using in my right hand. D, F sharp, A, G, F sharp, D, F sharp, E, D, B, D, A, G, B, A, G. F sharp, D, E, C sharp, D, F sharp, A, A, B, G, A, F sharp, D, D, and a little trill between D and E, and then C sharp. Now I'm going to teach you what fingerings I'm using in my right hand. One, three, five, four, three, one, three, two, two again, one, two, five, one, three, two, one, cross over three, one, one, four, one, three, Five, one, three, one, four, two, one, five, and then three and four on the D and E, and then N on the C sharp with the two. All right, so let's delve into the final bit of it, the most iconic portion of the song. So the right hand here, you're going to be starting with your pinky finger on the A, and it goes like this. A, F sharp, G, A, and it repeats again. And A, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, G, A, B, A, G, A, F sharp, G, A, G, B, A, G, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, G, B, A, B, C sharp, D, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A. Now, 
before I proceed to the final little bit, I'm gonna show you the fingerings for that portion. Five, three, four, five, three, four, five, one, two, three, tuck under one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, four, two, three, four, three, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, tuck under one, two, three, one, three, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, tuck under one, two, three, four, and five. And when you play hands together, it's gonna sound like this. All right, we're almost done. Here's the final little bit. So it sounds a lot like the last portion, but it's just a little bit different. So we're gonna be starting with F sharp with our middle finger in our right hand. It goes like this. F sharp, D, E, F sharp, E, D, E, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, D, B, C sharp, D, D, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, F sharp, D, C sharp, D, B, D, C sharp, B, A, G, A, G, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, B, D, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, D, E, D, C sharp, D, B, C sharp, and D. And now for the fingering for that portion. You're gonna start with your middle finger on that F sharp, and it goes like this. Three, one, two, three, two, one, four, two, tuck under one, two, three, two, one, cross over three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, Four, switch to two, one, two, five, four, five, three, five, four, three, two, one, two, one, cross over two, one, two, three, four, five, one, three, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, three, one, two, and three. So with left hand, it sounds like this. Now that you've learned all the parts of it, I'm going to play for you the full version. Just make sure you practice all of those different portions little bit by bit, adding on each different layer. And when you feel ready, you can try playing the whole thing like this.
All right, so for you to practice, there's gonna be some sheet music linked below. And if you have any questions, please make sure you leave them in the comments below. So good luck and enjoy practicing.